Hello and welcome to Retro Tuesdays. I think I'm still doing Retro Tuesdays. Um, today we're going to be playing. Ready, oh, I hold on. Captain. I can't hear you. Okay, that's just going to be playing, I think. Um, yes, as you can see, this is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Um, now, I wasn't too sure whether to put this in Retro Tuesdays, but I thought it could be included or it can be included because it is a remake of an older game from the PlayStation 2 era. Um, so I'm just looking at the back of the box of uh, PlayStation 4 copy of this game um, and it says under remake features faithful remake of one of the best Spongebob games ever created high-end visuals modern resolutions and carefully polished gameplay brand new horde mode multiplayer for up to two players online and offline and restored content that was cut from the original game like the Robo Squidward boss fight and more So, those are the remake features. Um, let's get into this. So, new game multiplayer options credits. It is downloading an update as I speak, um, but we're going to be playing some single player. So, we've got a new game. Hopefully the loading screen's aren't too long. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well! <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap. Not sure if the uh, sound. What do you think or the, you're doing? Or the voice. Um, oh, no. Matches. No. The animation well, of the map. I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yes, SpongeBob and Patrick. Yeah. Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon, or maybe. SpongeBob Randy. looks a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Patrick looks good. In 3D. What if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. I'm not so sure about SpongeBob. They got some good texture, though, to the. Uh, his sponge skin. Can we say skin? In here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing chair. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So okay is the magic wishing word? 
It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Pushpar Griddle Bits von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Their eyes are reflect, uh, reflecting light in a weird way. Like they're actually, it's like a, how a plate would reflect light. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Ow. Oh, okay! Press this button to <laughs> read the signs. Hmm. He didn't say I won. Because obviously this is a cross-platform game. Ow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. Press this button. I better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Explore the bedroom. Explore the attic. Explore the closet. So let's see. Okay, actually, I, I think Sponge probably is qu quite well animated. And I would say rendered well in 3D, actually. Woo. Um, yeah. There's certainly detail there. It is SpongeBob. Alright, so, um, let's have a look. You need more shiny objects to go to this area. Press R1 to talk. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. It shines. So we've got a double jump. Square is an attack. Circle does nothing. What does triangle do? Ooh. Whoa. SpongeBob may see how well he is doing by pressing R2. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. And finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. So R2, yeah? A key deck. So we're gonna collect these um, flowers or coral, I don't know. Well, we've got at least ten, haven't we? Uh, pay ten shiny objects. To, oh, they're, they're called shiny objects to access this area. Oh. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or services. Uh, like this. Spun oh, whoa. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get back on. Uh, SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom. Which, if found, will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Spongebob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing R2. Fresh, there we like go. A spring breeze. It shines. Hmm. Is there 
anything up there? No. I want to change room. Let's have a look. Oh wow. Lots of signs here. To see how else one was doing. Oop. Wow. That's a lot of signs. Oh. Oh wow. Whoa. Press circle in mid and sponge will do a bubble bounce attack. The bubble bounce attack can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below SpongeBob and push buttons on the ground. SpongeBob may only do the bubble bounce attack move in midair. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Very nice. The graphics are pretty sharp, I have to say. Ooh. Press square and sponge will do a bubble spear and sponge will use a rule. Well, I think we've exhausted this room. Join me in the next part where we shall explore another room. Have fun. Thanks for watching.